I can see clearly now. The trash is gone. Get out. Right now is the end of you. Not me. Press. 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 Nikki is so press. Hey bro. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I'm actually so ugly and today, let me tell you about today. Today I'm really tired. That's not how this goes. I'm actually so ugly. Today I'm actually going to talk to you about people who need to go. People who need to leave your life. People you need to cut off. Like cut it out. Gotta go. Like you have to leave them behind. Behind. Goodbye. See those people back there? Bye. Good morning, everybody. I hope you all have a beautiful day, except for those of you that I don't like, that I don't care for, except for you musty, dusty, crusty losers. I hope your day sucks. The topic today, well, I already told you about the topic today. So that's what we're discussing. We're not gonna discuss my mustache, okay? You guys voted on my Instagram if I should do like no shave November, Movember, whatever, and this plaid blanket's ruining this video. You guys voted if I should do no shave November, and you voted yes. We're gonna see how far I can get. Anyway, this video is jam-packed, so what I need to do is I just need to hurry up and get into this video. I'm sweating already. So I moved. I know, I tell you every video, like nobody asks. Everyone's like And I'm just like I moved, guess what I moved? When I moved, I decided that I was cutting people off. You're out of my life, goodbye, toodles, like <laughs> bye. Get out, like you're ruining my life. But do you know whose fault it is that they're ruining my life? Mine. I kept them in my life for whatever reason, like I'm so stupid. Anyway, so let's get started. Let's talk about Negative people people who are not conducive to your growth. There's gonna be a lot of pointing this video So I just need you to like be aware. I wish this video was in 3d so that I could like poke you in the eye You know what I mean? Look at your circle. Okay, we need to be a little bit more selective with the people that we put in our circles Not the people who are put in our circles the people we put in our circles like the people that we spend our time with because like <laughs> Okay, it is an honor to be in my circle it is a privilege to spend your time with me not everyone in your circle is on your team okay like let that sink in okay just let it sink in is it sunk uh-huh okay soak it up soak it up soak it up let that information soak up like you know like when you're like at thanksgiving and you have to like soak up the gravy like with your bis biscuit because like the gravy's like all on the plate and you don't want to like leave the gravy behind so you like take the biscuit and you like soak it up and then you eat it but like that's not the point but let me say it one more time just in case you didn't not everyone in your circle is on your team okay glad we had this chat not everyone is rooting for you it's time to cut those weeds loose rip them out of the ground from the root okay don't leave any traces behind when you let a weed grow in your garden it ruins and kills everything that you've planted a word honestly this video is so dramatic like I wish this wasn't how I talked in real life but I literally am like this in real life it's just so annoying like why am I like this okay so you're telling me that you have to be around these people that you have to be with them at school that you have to be with them in the workplace but what you don't have to do is be in the same room mentally you may have to be in the same room physically as these people but you do not have to be in the same room mentally okay you go in that room and you take your mind and you say push turn I don't need to be in this room. You do not have to let people take over your emotions. Do not give people that power. If you let people's words control your emotions, you will never gain control of yourself. Cut them loose. If the room that you are in today does not serve who you are right now and who you want to be, leave that room. Time to go. It may be the room that used to serve you. It may be the room that brought you to this new growth. But honey, it's time to change your pot. Okay, your planter, your your room. Maybe you have to see these people at school, but let me tell you where you don't have to see them. Outside of school. No one said you had to eat lunch with these people, okay? And no one said this hair needs to sit here. No one said you had to eat lunch with these people. I didn't hear anybody say that. So you need to go to school and make new friends. Or maybe just mind your business and don't make any friends. It's none of my business, but like, whatever. Okay, all I'm saying is that you do not have to be friends with the same people you grew up with if those people are no longer conducive to your growth. You don't have to be friends with the people who were... Friends. With the people who were your friends 10 minutes ago if they're not conducive to your growth, okay? Nobody is handcuffed. This is not the handcuff challenge for 24 hours. I'm growing, you're not. Toodles. You need to mind your business in negative environments. We all have negative thought. Everybody has negative thought. You better believe I think some negative things about people, okay? And about myself, but you know, it's just natural. It's normal. People have negative thoughts. You don't have control over thinking the negative thought, but what you do have control over is how you react to your negative thought. So you start to think something negative. So you start to act like your old self. You start seeing your old ways pop up. They're like, hey, yo, 
I'm your old ways, what's up? You better look that thought dead in the eyes and say, Not today, honey. Not today, not yesterday, not tomorrow. Maybe on Sunday because that's the Lord's day and I will do anything for the Lord. Because like also on a Sunday, maybe the Lord is trying to teach me something and he's putting something negative into my life just so he can see that I've changed and that he's challenging my growth being like, did you grow or is this just like all in your head? You know what I mean? So like maybe on Sunday, but not any other day of the week, okay? Negative thought, I am serving you an eviction notice because you no longer have residency in my mind. You do not live here. So that's what you say to it, okay? You just repeat exactly what I just said to your negative thought. If you give in to those negative thoughts and you allow those negative thoughts to win, you will be dragged down back into that box that you tried so hard to climb out of. Okay, do you remember how hard it was to get out of that negative situation? Don't let one little negative thought bring you back into that box, okay? Because let me tell you, that was hard. Let me say this just clearly so you can hear it. Surround yourself with people who align with your growth. You need to surround yourself with people who keep pushing you and people who back you into a corner and say, do not bark, no, 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 no. Don't bark. The devil is tempting you, Steve. Do not bark. Hey, we are changing and we are growing. We are blooming, we are blossoming. Pull it together, reel it in. And if you do not have people that keep you in check and back you in a corner and say, hey, get it together, then you have the wrong people. It's time to get new people. And in the same respect, in the same sentence, you better do that for the people in your life too, okay? You better be looking at them and making sure that they keep growing. And you, be ooh, and you better value those people. Do not devalue the people in your life because do you want people to devalue you? <laughs> Because what does that say about you if you do not do that for other people? Don't just expect people to be this for you and cut all these people out of your life and then you not be the same good to those people, okay? You better check yourself. <laughs> and since we are talking about value, it is time to lose the people in your life that do not value you and people who undervalue you because there are people who undervalue you and there are people who do not bring value to your life. You need to look around, assess your circle and say, all right who here values me and who is undervaluing me. And I'm not talking about value like who's doing acts of service and things for you physically. I'm talking about when people show you their true colors, you should believe them, okay? When people are in distress, that's when they show who they really are. If you wanna see who a person really is, then watch how they treat people they do not think they need. And you don't have to be rude when you cut them off. You don't have to do anything drastic while cutting them off. But you also don't have to feel like you're rude by cutting them off. Being selfish for your personal growth, what you need is not being rude. By cutting someone who is negative out of your life, that's not being rude. It's rude to keep them in your life. It is rude to yourself. You're doing a disservice to yourself if you keep people who do not value you in your life. Look at the people who support you. Keep note of the people who ask how you're doing. Keep note of the people who celebrate your achievements, big or small. Keep note of the people who only need you when they have something going on. Keep note of the people who are only around you when you're winning. Your friends see you when you're not winning and those people are there, okay? You know those friends who like, they have something going on, they have a show, they have something coming out, they have whatever's going on, and all of a sudden they're like, hey, miss you, blah, 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 and then like two seconds later, they're like, come to this thing, and you're like, wow, we haven't talked in like 12 months, and then I had this thing before, but you didn't come and show up to my thing, but you expect me to show up to your thing, like, wow, that's pretty wild, you know what I mean? Like, those friends who really want you to be around for them, but not around for you, like, it's just kinda like, suspect. Like, I'm a little confused about those friends, I'm just like, No. I'm sorry, sis. We don't have to, I don't say sis. I'm sorry, bro. We do not have time for these friendships of convenience. We don't have time for these fake friendships. I'm seeing so many fake friends. Like I see so many fake Chanel bags. Like they're just everywhere now. It's disgusting. We don't have time for it. Sorry, I couldn't make it. Sorry, I haven't seen one YouTube video you post even though you've been posting for a year, Nick. But um, I miss you so much. Sorry, I don't have any time to watch the videos but I will when I get a chance type friend. People will make time for you when they want to make time for you. I miss you. Well, do you know what's going on in my life? You just miss me because you have something going on and you want me to be a part of it. But guess what? <laughs> Not today. And let me tell you, I'm serving eviction notices in my friend groups. I'm serving eviction notices for my circle. Eviction notices for my life. I am serving eviction notices, not just for people, but also for the things in my life that no longer keep up with my momentum. I have created a momentum in my life and I am I'm soaring. I'm soaring. I'm flying, soaring. Wait, is it the other way around? I am serving eviction notices for everything in my life that does not keep up with, I look like Dora the Explorer, that does not keep up with the momentum that I have created for myself. If you wanna <laughs> soar and fly, like Zac Efron in High School Musical, then you need to cut up these people and these things off. Like they've gotta go, gotta go, bye, gotta go. This is a very intense rant. 
I've just had it, you know what I mean? I've had it with excuses and I've had it with people saying like how unhappy they are and then I look at their circle and I'm like, well, that's a choice, boo. The last thing I'm gonna leave you with is if you don't have the right circle, you have a cage. I know. I, <laughs> I know. Be inspired by the people around you and inspire the people around you. And if your circle does not inspire you, then you have a cage. I'm done. I'm done with people. I'm done with all these situations that do not serve me. Anyway, that's the end of my video. I hope you took something from this video and you cut some people off. Thanks for watching. I hope you like this video. Subscribe to my channel. Click the button that says red is my shirt. Oh my god, that's convenient. I mean, it's like burgundy almost, or maybe it's like maroon. I honestly don't know the difference. Click the button that says red is my shirt. <laughs> Like this video, give it a pity like. What should you pity? Pity those people who are about to be served with eviction notices. Bye bye now. My Instagram is at actually so ugly. I look a lot better there. I probably don't have a five o'clock shadow there. I've been posting some fire selfies lately, so I don't know which one I'm gonna choose for this video, but I look good. I post new videos at, I'm not, don't have to be aggressive and point at this point, like relax. I post new videos every Sunday at noon, okay? Like right now how you're watching, I post it at noon. Oh my God, you can also click that bell. There's like a bell and it'll be like, Nick posted a video, go watch the video. It's a notification bell. So you should probably turn that on for me because <laughs> what else do you have to do? I just wanted to send this message because now you're all a part of my circle, okay? It's a big circle, but you're a part of it. So I'm here to give you this information so that you can check your own circles, okay? I would be doing a disservice if I did not give this message to you. Because I cut those people out of my life. I took inventory and I let them go. And let me tell you who's thriving. Me. Oh my god, I have no underwear. I hope my hoo-ha didn't pop out. Anyway, that's it, okay? I have to go get ready for work. Goodbye.